Hello Ratbags, it's Jay Plays Games back again with another Ark Survival Evolve news video. Guys, we've got two really exciting things coming up and I can't wait to tell you about them. The brand new infantry system has been completed. It is coming to PC on the next PC update. If you don't know about this, a little while ago I told you guys about that. They were asking for feedback about the actual menu system and you could give them lots of feedback on a Reddit forum. So they've took on board a lot of the info, a lot of the requests, and it looks like they have mixed up significantly. Now you can see the inventory screen here doesn't look too different in terms of like the squares, etc. Except the crafting queue has now been put over onto this side. We've got extra folders, add a folder. And then of course here we have moved the picture over to the right hand side of the character instead of the middle. That looks like you'll be able to equip your armor really quickly. And I like that idea that it's like that instead of flat like it was. And also up top it looks a lot streamlined as well. We've got the dinosaurs tab. So I presume that's going to be for dossiers. Then you've got maybe party options. And then maybe menu or... Uh, I can't tell what that is actually to be fair. So all sorts of good things looking to come to the brand new update. This will be hitting PC on the 30th now. They've actually delayed the next update by one day on PC because they've had to Q&A this test, this uh, UI um, new, new thing. What do you guys think about it? It looks very tech tierish, you know, you can tell the screen is like part of that grid network. It looks like the, uh, the doors or the dino doors when they, um, the tech tier ones that open up and close. So apparently there's lots of better organisation for it and uh, right clicking etc. So we'll have to see how this plays out with a console. But I think that looks a lot better actually. Now I've, I took the time to actually look at the picture. I think having this stuff in the middle is definitely better than having the picture there. You're not going to have to move around like over this to put armour on it. It'll just be bosh, bosh, bosh. Also big in the game is that they're actually nerfing flyers. Now, I don't know what this means, whether or not it's going to just nerf the damage that they do. Maybe it'll be the way the stamina levels are. I think it'll be damage. I think they're probably going to nerf the damage that flying dinosaurs can do. But we don't know for 100% what the actual nerf is, but that's generally what it is. It's normally to reduce damage or to make them a little bit less um, of like health tanks. So no PC update until March 30th, guys, which sucks a bit. And next up, we've got the Volcano. Ever wondered why it was dormant or what they, you know, were going to plan to do with it, if anything? You've got the volcano in the Dragon Arena and you've also got a volcano on the centre map. But nothing on the island. Only in the caves will you see some lava. Well guys, say hello to Silical Active Volcano coming, not soon, but in the future. It looks like they might be turning the actual volcano into a live volcano. Now nothing's confirmed, it might not be the, the dead volcano. Now technically it might not be this, it might be another mountain. Maybe it's just a way to make the, uh, the volcanoes in the dragon arena only spew occasionally. But I can't see that being the case, as you're only in the dragon arena for like 20 minutes or whatever. So it looks like they're adding a new biome feature or a new landmark feature to the game. So obviously this would mean you would get damage if you touch the lava. Maybe the way that it's cynical falls, maybe it will come down the mountain occasionally. So again, it could be a really big change to that area. And a lot of people that maybe have built their tribes or their areas up there are going to be in a lot of trouble. Obviously on official servers, a lot of this area is protected anyway by the respawn um, radius blocker. Because it's so rich in metal, not a lot of servers actually have it allowed that you can build there. But for non-dedicated and dedicated servers, you can do what you want. You can change the settings and have that area ready to build. So it'll be interesting to see what actually happens with this volcano. Could it be wrong? Could it be somewhere else? Maybe they're adding a brand new island in the water somewhere. They did say they weren't going to add any more biomes. And technically, if they added another volcano somewhere, that would be another biome. I don't think anywhere else on the map is kind of a dead space in terms of where you might put something. 
Possibly the only exception might be somewhere up to the north. But who knows, maybe it's one of these mountains instead. To me, that is really interesting. To have something that only comes on now and then, or uh, will only be on for certain times of the day, is really cool. It just adds a little bit more life to the map and makes it seem a little bit more alive. And also, just coming to the PC, obviously you guys are console heads, so you're not going to be as bothered until it actually hits console. But they have added a brand new 20 Explorer Notes. And a brand new hairstyle and facial hairstyle. So, as soon as this PC update hits and I've got over my rotten um, flu, I will be back to show you all the brand new gameplay bits. I'm Joe Plays Games. Hit me up with a notification on there. Get all the news delivered to you straight away, and I'll see you guys later.